Hey guys, that is here. I'm back. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a long time. There was really actually nothing except that now Toy Fair is here. Um, and we've got a couple of cool things about Beyblades. So um, let's get started real quick. First of all, um, Beyblade.com. They already announced the 2012 World Championships. And um, basically now they um <clears throat> they made the age limit a little bit higher so instead of 13 you have to be 14 <clears throat> so I'm, I just ate and my throat's really dry um so basically the age limit is 8 to 14 now um instead of 13 which you know is pretty good I just wish they'd make it like till 18 or 17 because I'm 15 now and it's a shame that I won't be able to participate. Anyway, here's some of the contestants that won. I'm not really actually going to show you. There's um, only one kid here who is 14. And um, it's this kid right here. So he's the oldest pretty much. And now um, the biggest stuff from Toy Fair. Um they showed up they didn't actually show the 4d beyblade what they showed was um the xts stealth battlers they also showed the um a new thing called bay wheels which are which is similar to flywheels um but whatever and they also showed the um destroyer dome which is the best part about the toy fair for hasbro um so basically you all know how um 4D was cut in half, like after episode 13 or something like that, like near the middle of the series, of the season, it was cut in half. Um, well, basically, what uh, the people in Canada is going to do is that they made a, you know, like a 15 minute show to tie in, in between the cuts. Just so there will be a full 30 minute show, is that they created a uh, Bay Wheels um, animation. So once the 4D Beyblade with the episodes that's been cut in half comes, they're gonna put this on the other half to make it a full half hour. So you know, that's pretty cool. Um, they show this kid here who looks like a mixture of um, Zeo from who has Flame Bixis. So it looks like it's a mixture of Zeo, Yuki, the guy who has Mercury Anubis, and Daichi from the original Beyblade. This kid here in the red suit. Um, I mean with the red hair. Then this green haired dude here and this other dude here. It looks pretty interesting. Um, also on another big note, um, the Metal Fight Saga... Okay, not the metal fight, but Beyblade that we have right now will continue to a fourth season. It's been confirmed, actually. Um, let me just show you guys that right now. I'm sorry. I have not done anything here. Um, it said it right here somewhere. Hold on a second. Alright, here we go. Um, and I'm also going to talk quickly about the Zero G. Alright, so Kai V posted 4th season of Metal Fight Beyblade confirmed. But there's still no other news of this confirmation on um, season 4. That's exactly what she wrote. Um, make sure to check out the thread of the Zero G series. Some people are saying that the Zero G Beyblades are going to be... Um, is that Zero G is going to be the fourth series? So basically, the um, the heroes or well, the first Beyblade is they're not going to be technically based off the stars and Greek and mythology and stuff like that anymore. They're basically going to be mythological. Like um, one of them has an Infreet, which is like this um, fire creature. Uh, another one's going to have um. Well, I really don't know. So we have a Shinobi Salamander, 
um, in the thin chrome. If we, um, I really don't know I, all of them, uh, of exactly what's gonna come, but um, it looks like we're getting a metal stone face. I have no idea what that is. Um, let me just take a look at this. Uh, all right, this is nothing. All right, um, so zero G, it might be the fourth season, and metal fight with Jenga might end with four D, or um, it will continue straight on through to zero G with Jenga's main character. We, uh, uh, we, we really don't know. And for me, I really, well, actually, I do care a little bit, but it doesn't matter since the original only lasted three seasons and then we got this with new characters so it would make sense I'm gonna show you a, a couple of clips from here but um these pictures I'm about to show you I'll put at the end so oh wait there we go so here's the Bay Wheels logo and a couple of the Bay Wheels there at the bottom the Bay Wheels 2 I mean not Bay Wheels so the second picture as you can see, um, it's a four-part bay, baseball, which is really long actually, energy ring, fusion wheel, spin track, and performance tip, or just spin track. This is made out of rubber, I'm just saying. Um, they look really cool actually. I might not get these at all, and none of, and these are all um, Hasbro original, the creatures on the baseball. Um, I might not get these because I'll show you why in a little bit. So here's the set for the Bay Wheels. It's uh, powered by the Bay Wheels. Alright, yeah, so um, it's got a cool logo. And it's uh, it's basically like a ramp. And um, you hold the launcher like s uh, sideways and you launch the Bay Blade. And um, the Bay Blade wouldn't go like this. Like, hold on a second, let me just get it. Basically, you launch a baby like this. But with the baby wheels, you're gonna launch it like, well, technically like this. And when the bay blade goes, it's not gonna go like this. It's gonna um, go spinning like this. So, you know, it's a pretty cool, interesting gimmick. Um, but I might not get it at all. Maybe I will, just one bay, but I'm not going to get this. Uh, then we have the, this thing here is going to cost $40. The Destroyer Dome is going to be 40 bucks, And it's definitely worth it. It's going to come with a Spiral Fox. And I think it's a uh, Cyclone Herculeum. I'm not really sure. But basically, you know how the Zero G Beyblade Stadium swaths or moves around this is sort of the same thing basically you put your Beyblade in this big wheel I mean sorry you remove the spin track and you replace the spin track with this rubber spin track that's huge and um, then you put the performance tip in and the bay itself then you launch it in these holes and it will go all around the stadium battling each other so that's gonna be pretty cool Except they probably won't last that long in the stadiums by themselves, but it's still really cool. Full 360, that's just awesome. It's going to be about $40. Also, here's the how, th this is how the Metal Fury package is going to look like. Really, really cool. I love this package. And it looks like it's very collector friendly for a lot of people. And yes, we are getting a Vulcan Harusius. And this is how it's gonna look like. Um, this is the fiber that the guy said. The, the red spin track is the fiber, and the blue one's the gripper. And again, this is the hole you put it in. You let it rip, and it goes all over. Really cool. Yeah. And as you can even see that this is a Vulcan. He has like a Vulcan, um, a Vulcan Rex in here. So. No, it looks really, really cool, and that's just actually about it. Um, here's how the bay wheels is gonna look like. So you see, there's a ramp. There's a ramp. Same wheel. 
accept a rubber one this time because nine degree angle change you may have seen. Three, two, one, let it rip. There it is. Whoa. Cool, nice. eh? So this is the stunt yeah, arena. Of course yeah. I can. All this right. is the stunt goal you can see. So I just want to show you guys the next uh, quick demonstration he's going to do with the bay wheel. Here. I'm going to go for speed this time. I'll get my launcher and my rip cord. Are those to be featured in the show as well? In the show? Yeah. Like a, 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 a new, new bird. Bay wheels. Yes, the animated series that comes out in the fall. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let it rip. Woo! Straight off the charts. The guy sounds like he's a surfer. I like this um, person who's demonstrating all the Beyblades um, than the last two years because they seem really boring and this guy who's demonstrating them seems really um, excited and he actually said himself he uses this all the time. Um, and if you guys heard Stu Carter from Atamari.com, um, basically he was recording but this is not from Atamari.com, this is from... Um, uh, well, this is from, I forgot his name, it's the Toy Spy or something like that. Yeah, I think it's the um, Toy Spy or whatever it is. Um, yeah, the Toy Spy. But um, over here, it shows the Destroyer Dome. But I, all credit goes to this guy. I'm just saying, just saying that all the credit, because I'm going to put this video at the end, except I'm going to cut his intro, is all his and not mine. So, because I really want to say something really quick, and I don't want to actually show you guys everything, because the Destroy Dome is really cool. So, as you can see, I'm going to cut this. Again, all credit of this video at the end of my video is going to be his. So, um, also, what I really wanted to say is that um, I'm not going to be making that many videos anymore on this channel. And if I am... It's gonna be like a big unboxing like of the sets that like the Destroyer Dome set. I'm gonna unbox that and stuff like that. What I am gonna keep on focusing mostly on now is just AMVs and battle videos. That's it. Um, be and mostly I'm, I'm still gonna be making unboxing and reviews and stuff like that. But much much less. Either today or tomorrow I might uh, make a couple of battle videos and post them here. So, yeah, but don't worry, I'm still going to be making unboxing and reviews, just not as often, because, um, well, just because. So, rate, comment, subscribe, I'll subscribe to you guys as soon as I can, um, and, yeah, so just stay tuned for a lot of, um, battles and AMVs coming up. This weekend, I'm going to be making AMV soon. Oh, and, um, with the pictures... Make sure you listen to the new Beyblade song that I downloaded from um, BeybladeBattles.com. It's probably the worst one. I mean, I love the other ones, but I really don't like this one. But just listen. It's it's a little bit good at some parts. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Another new one. So you had your five-piece five piece performance top four of Beyblade. You had your fusion wheel, performance piece and the face ball, just there, all together. Constructible, customizable, we still have all of the new wheels coming out all the time to bring the next level. This is the new Metal Fury Destroyer Dome, just over here. This is the Destroyer Dome, you can see the pack here, it comes at $39.99, comes with both two rip cords, launcher, and wheel. See this, these are the new spin tracks. You can take a five piece customizable performance top and then you can put the spin track within it so you've got the V or the gripper you can see here let me show you what they can do so you get into the dome you get ready three two one let it rip that's cool they go around ready for mid-air collisions here we go ready first one to the bottom loses here it is three two one let it rip there we go, there we go. Aerial attacks, mid-air collisions, lots of fun. Lots and lots of fun. People don't get enough. Crash, shred, win, destroy your enemies, deploy from within. Break all the rules and dominate them. It's a whole new way.